A no commentary version of this run can be found in the pinned comment in the comments section below. This video is intended as a game walkthrough. It is not a speedrun. All strategies in this video were made for efficiency and success rate. Please watch the entire video and listen carefully to the commentary before trying any of these strategies for yourself. Hello everyone, this is a no damage, hardcore, no crafting playthrough of Shadows of Rose. Hey Kay, sorry I'm late. It's okay, I'm just enjoying the day. You said you had something important to tell me? I hope it's not about Chris wanting me to join his operation because I already told him that's not happening. I see what he puts you and the rest of his hound wolf squad through. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's not about that. It is about you. Me? I, I worry about you. How is, um, how are things at school? <laughs> Seriously, that's what you wanted to talk to me about? That group of mean girls still hassling you? I mean, are they still treating me like a freak? Hey! Uh-uh. Look at me. You are not a freak. I am. You know I am. That's why I keep my distance from everybody at school. If they knew what I really was. So... You don't have any friends that you can talk to? <laughs> talk to? About what? How I'm hardly even human, how I'm some kind of horrendous monster. <laughs> but, hey, it's okay. I hardly ever murder my friends. What if there were a way to get rid of your powers? I get rid of them in a heartbeat. All right, well, I think there's something I need to show you. You already know about Miranda and the mutamycete, how she researched it obsessively and performed experiments on human subjects. Like me. Exactly. Uh, what you don't know is that we recently found some of her research. Apparently, she discovered a purifying crystal that can remove the mutamycete from its host. Purifying crystal? If we can get our hands on one of these, we might be able to weaken or remove your powers entirely. Are you kidding me? No. No, but her notes are incomplete. However, I think I have an idea where we can find the rest of her research. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's find it. Where is it? Uh, in there. What? That's a fragment of the Megamycete. It absorbs and stores memories from people who pass away in close proximity, including Miranda and everything she knows. If you enter its consciousness, you might be able to solve the mystery of the purifying crystal. Wait, what do you mean enter its consciousness? Oh, so, okay, so you, your deep connection will allow you to explore the information within. That sounds crazy. You sound crazy. Yes, 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 Rose, but not dangerous, right? Think of it just like walking through somebody else's memories. You really think this can work? I think it's worth trying. What do you have to lose? Uh, how do I even do this? <laughs> Shit, I, I don't know. Try reaching out to it. See what happens. Okay. <sighs> Fine. What the hell? Oh my god, Rose is so weird. Yeah, it's like she sees things that aren't there. 
creepy. Stay away from us, you creep. Imagine wanting to be friends She's with her. Definitely. Ew. Not Something just moved on her hand. What's wrong with her? Shut up. Yeah. Yeah. It just feels it's like she's away from us, you creep. Freak. I'm still here. Kay. Kay? Where are you? Kay! This isn't right. First file is over here. Wait, what? I am trying to get all the files in this particular playthrough. I apologize if I missed any. If I did miss any, please let me know in the comments below. There is a possibility that I may end up re-recording this playthrough to be able to uh, get a more uh, complete video probably one with a more stable frame rate because you can probably see like there is a little bit of stutter here and there. There's another file in the cell over here. I have also been working on a no save no damage run. Uh, at the time of this recording I was able to get all the way up to the final boss fight. But, uh... So gross. What is this? Yeah, you got that right. But it's been... It's been pretty difficult. Let me out. It's been pretty difficult to nail a run. And I wanted that one to be the first video that I uh, uploaded for this DLC. But due to how much time it is taking me, attempts-wise, to just, like, nail a segment, because, like... Literally anything and everything that could go wrong, even though I have it completely routed, just happen to keep going wrong. These things take time, so I do apologize for that. And thank you for being patient. By the way, you can uh, run this very route. There's another file on the table over here on the way back to uh, unlocking the cell door. You can run this very route, and if you skip cutscenes, then you will be able to clear this in under an hour and a half and get the achievement for what was that? beating the DLC in under an hour and a half. Well, it's not really like an achievement. It's just you unlock uh, points for the point store in-game.
Wait, wait up! Yeah, so the end game timer actually does count uh, cutscenes towards the final time. So please be mindful of that. Help me lift. Once we gain control of Rose, we immediately put the switch handle in here and pull it down. Then we just turn around and uh, keep luring this guy around in a circle. Uh, occasionally you can get him to just keep lunging at you repeatedly from the other side of the boxes. But uh, a lot of times that just like won't work because he has to be at like a weird angle for that to happen. Once the uh, two sides of the gate separate, that is a good time to run through. Because once Rose's head clears the bottom bar of the top gate, you can just go through. Okay. What were those things? What is happening here? How? What is this? 
this. Where am I? Not until I get this out of my body. There's a crystal here that will remove the mold. I, I need to find it. And I'm not leaving until I do. Who are you? My guardian angel? Do you have a name? If you're an angel, then... Gabriel? Michael? Okay. Michael? What now? There is one file on the table over here in Lady D's chambers. Nothing else in here is interactable. So we'll go back out through this door. I was just doing a quick spot check because I was looking for files. At the time of this recording, I did not memorize where all the locations were. into running. It would have made the chase that much more thrilling. Uh, let me go! Let me go! It would seem this little rabbit lacks the necessary fortitude. Uh. Uh. A pity. You had shown a little grit and actually escaped. That purifying crystal would now be yours. The crystal? to pursue. Let's see how fast this one is. Find her! Hunt her down! There's only one direction we can go. So we'll go here, make a sharp left here. Make sure you're hugging the right hand the staircase as you're going up. A body's gonna drop here, and then a guy's gonna come out the wall here. If you are not hugging the right hand side, then you will get caught on them and you will get hurt. Shit! Seriously? Where am I going to get a gun? What, like this? You don't have to abs actually shoot this guy. We'll just go over here stay out the way until he uh, moves forward a step and when he does that you can just run right behind him just They're right after gone. you grab the bullets there this must be the crystal I guess I need to find these masks to unlock it Uh -huh. 
this guy over here can be taken out in around seven or eight handgun bullets. Once he uh, gets close to the stairs, we're going to head back to the door. We will turn around, and then we will just back into the door to head out. There's an invisible wall here. That makes it so that the uh, face eater cannot come out of the door. So you can just shoot him from behind the door. And you can do this for uh, most of the enemies here. If you really want to help, you could back me up against those things. What? So, I'm on my own? Great. lumpy thing? How am I supposed to break it? My powers? I literally came here to get rid of them. Okay, fine. But how? What am I supposed to do? What's that? One more file over there. Once we go through this door... Eight shots will take that guy out. And then we'll just uh, fire the rest of our clip at that guy. And then we'll do the same thing that I mentioned before. Head towards this door, turn around, back out of it while he walks up. And as you can see, invisible wall. As long as we are exactly at the right amount of space for that door to stay open, and we are on the other side of the door, he will not hit us. And we can just shoot him down. For those first two enemies right there, I like to kill them, because we're going to be coming through this room several times. Way I'm waiting through that. Maybe I can find a way across. Now we're coming up on our first power-up, which will allow us to melt the tumors. So, what am I supposed to do with this thing? Focus? Alright. I feel... different... somehow. See if this works. One more file there, and then we're going to make our first save.
On the way out, we can uh, melt this scla whatever sclerosha, I guess is what it's called. Get some handgun bullets out of that. There's only craftable material here. There's a fat lot of nothing over there, too. That's a pretty big reason why I just, like, didn't really bother with crafting is because, you know, it just doesn't really Can't get around it. need much more than the bare minimum to get around anything. We're never coming back into this area. And this enemy is not a threat whatsoever, so we're just going to lure him in and walk around him. Fade out of grab if you feel like it or something, but we're just going to run around him. Once we get into the next room, we're going to melt the Sclerosha over here. And while this one is melting, we can go ahead and melt this one over here because it contains handgun bullets. Uh, once we open this briefcase, we can get the extended magazine for the Lemmy. Now we're going to do a little balancing act over here. We're going to start firing at this guy. Rose's flashlight is below her chest, so the books over here, they, uh, they, they block the light from the flashlight. It makes it really hard to actually shoot this guy. Uh, you don't really need to, uh, you don't really need to aim at his head every time. You just need to make sure you nail the focus shots because otherwise the bullets are just going to travel random places. Usually after he flinches once and he makes like the weird like repeating chittery noise, it takes like one or two more shots before he dies. Also once we enter and exit this room, as long as our camera is panned away from any other enemies once we do, it will always return to an original position. Take this. Well, I decided to lure this guy over to the door. If you keep the camera pan towards the door and uh, an enemy doesn't teleport, then of course you can just lure it into the invisible wall and take it out. But because we went into the door and out the door, that enemy that came out of the wall is now feasting on the corpse. And every time we pass through that room, it's just going to be feasting on the corpse. So that enemy is completely harmless. What? We have no reason to go into that room except to pass through it. Melt the Sclerosha over here in order to get the uh, bronze mask. And also take the handgun bullets here. I'm going to get the bronze mask on the way back through. Then we'll look up and right and melt this one over here. Our next objective is to get the monocular key. Once this is melted and we uh, move forward this way, if we look to the right, there is a uh, there is one enemy over here. My recommendation is to shoot him. Reason being, there is a uh, There is a uh, there is an amount of time that we have to sit through before this uh, mold over on this door over here completely melts away, and if we do not take care of the enemy, then he will get us. By the way, don't open doors by tapping F because sometimes the door will swing right back in your face and mess up the dodge setups. Just 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 run right through this room. And let Rose worry about opening the doors. We have to examine that file in order for uh, totally not Ethan to move the shelf right there. There's no files in here, as needed to be demonstrated. Looks like there are more of these. Now we have hard stun ability and two boxes of handgun bullets right here. I'm gonna stand over here. Well, this guy comes up the stairs and he's going to lunge and miss, allowing us to go straight downstairs. We have no reason to come back into this room and the enemy is not going to follow us into the safe room next door. I'll take the sprig of white sage. And 
And I like to start shooting these guys here. Once this guy starts getting in the way, we can uh, reset the room or lure him to the door. Invisible wall so they can't follow us in here. like to fully take out those guys. Uh, the guys in the next room that actually has the monocular key, they can actually hear us. They can actually hear us firing. The one that was uh, closer to the door on the way out, we wanted to shoot him because he has, uh, well, although, hmm, maybe I actually don't even really need to shoot these guys. In any capacity, just uh, exit the door, grab the stuff inside, and then come back into the safe room in order to get them back into this room. Because you can see whenever I go back into the safe room, the door closes. They both teleport back in here. So now we'll take the monocular key. Getting rid of one makes the second one just dreadfully easy to dodge because you just lure him around the uh, psychiatrist couch there. Once we come out this room over here, this guy is going to stumble forward so we can just completely ignore him. Don't worry, he is not going to grab you. That dodge works 100% of the time, which is why I left him alive. And then we melt the sclerotia and run. Now that we have the monocular key, we can get the compensator upgrade for the Lemmy, which will increase our shot power by roughly 10%. So I'd say that this is an upgrade worth getting if you're trying to be safe. Anything that makes any enemy take like uh, one or two less bullets is always a good call. There's another file here, so we need to come in here anyway. I came here hasn't changed. I need that crystal. Thank you. You don't actually need to talk to totally not Ethan there. <sighs> Unless you're trying to get the health. Sage there. Just ignore that enemy. In this puzzle room, strangulation, stabbing, drowning, and arrows. Excuse me. All in that order. Sorry, I was trying to stifle a sneeze. I'm allergic to bad DLC. get in here, uh, the Executioner shows up to the right, so we gotta melt these sclerosha as quickly as we can. 
And if you hear that roar, then here's what you do, because that means he is aggroed onto you. We're going to go back into this hole, and we are just going to look away. A general rule with all of the enemy encounters in this scenario is if you hear the music sharply fade away, then that means that the enemy has returned to its initial position and is de-aggroed from you. I'm going to stand behind this column here, and I'm going to wait for him to turn around. You can move at full speed. He can only see you. He cannot hear you. So, like, crouching and moving slowly is not necessary for stealth. Once we get into this other wine room over here, we're going to melt the sclerotia. We have to get to the right-hand side over here because an enemy is dropping down here and will block us from melting the sclerotia. Said enemy, we're just going to lure out a grab and then we can crouch under here. If both enemies are stacked on top of each other, then go ahead and use a stun in order to freeze them both. Sometimes uh, melting that sclerotia will give you some extra handgun bullets, which is why I like to do that. On the way out, we're going to lure out a grab from this guy. And then we want to run straight forward here, go around the corner on this one, and then we're going to wedge ourselves into this corner over here once the executioner busts out. Another guy is going to stumble in front of us, so we don't have to worry about him. The stumble always happens 100% of the time. Then we just crouch into this hole as quickly as we can and move, because the Executioner is hot on our ass, and he will uh, hit us through the wall. That is a thing that he, he can do, so just try to clear that as quickly as you can. Thank you. Now we're going to head into Lady D's quarters over here. I got it, but just barely. This ugly brute turned up. No shit! I can't fight something like that. I'll take all the help I can get. A bunch of white sage will completely restore all of your stuns, but I recommend saving those for the end of the DLC, specifically because they will charge five charges as opposed to three charges, which we currently max out at right now. There's another file over here and some more craftable items if you want them. One more chem fluid. That guy stumbles forward so we can just exit this way. We're going to circle back through into Lady D's quarters. Go into the bathroom over here and pick up the snake painting which will allow us to get the triocular key. Now we'll head back to the main hall. Persistent little rabbit, aren't you? But you cannot simply do it. We're gonna lure out a grab from this guy. Uh, sometimes you can just walk right by without luring a grab, but I'm not exactly sure of the AI pattern that allows you to do that at the moment. So I usually just play it safe and lure out the grab. next objective is to get the triocular key. And we can do that by, on the predator side, placing the snake in the center. And then on the prey side, we place sheep and frog. Sheep on the right, frog in the center. And then put spider on the right hand side on the predator side. Did he make these puzzles to mess with me?
And once we have the triacular key, we are going to move to the right, and we are going to melt the sclerotia off the door over here. <laughs> and we can also get some handgun bullets by melting the sclerotia over here. take a hard right and we just uh, move directly to our left hand side to get around this guy. He just stumbles forward and misses. He won't grab you ever, so don't worry. Just don't be afraid. Just commit to going past them. And once we do that, we are going to end up in the piano hall. We're just going to go down these stairs here, and then we're going to unlock this uh, triocular door. This is what happens when you mash F. You saw the door just slammed right in my face and didn't allow me to reopen it even though I was just running right into it. Is that the last mask? Ignore that random shot. We're gonna vault ourselves up here and get on top of the grand piano. Once we do, these guys are gonna spawn in, so we wanna melt that sclerosha as quickly as we can. And then we wanna drop off on the left hand side over here, pick up the sprig of white sage, then go up the stairs. These guys are super slow, so we don't need to worry about them quite so soon. Turn to the left here, pick up these handgun bullets, and we'll go back here, and we're going to melt the uh, last sclerosha over here. There's going to be enemies on your left-hand side. Ignore them for now. Just melt. And then what we're going to do is we're going to exit, head directly to the right, and once we do head directly to the right, it's a reset point, so all the enemies will reset completely de -aggro. and that way we go from two enemies over in this little cubby over here to one enemy and once we kill him we retreat if we do not retreat then the other enemy that was also in that cubby which respawned on the right hand side of the hall will have caught up to us and will pin us in going and resetting the room now will prevent us from having to bait out a grab to dodge him which could be risky I like to go in there and melt that sclerotia in order to get the shotgun shells there. And now with the enemies reset, we're going to go back downstairs through the triocular door. And then we're going to run across the little bridge that we just made with all this furniture. Uh, don't do what I did here, by the way. There's actually no reason to pick up anything that is in here for any reason whatsoever. You can see that I uh, got knocked over here, but you can see I'm trying to use a health item here, but the game doesn't let me use the health item here. That means that the enemy did no damage to me. Easy peasy. Left-hand, bottom side. One, two, three. That's the first one we want to melt. Grab these handgun bullets. While this wall is uh, melting away. And then we're going to hold our focus on the big one in the center. And once that happens, an enemy will spawn. Just keep holding focus, and then we'll stun him. And then once we stun him, we want to take him out. 
Till lock on. Just keep shooting until he's dead. Then we melt the big sclerotia in there. The and the final one is at the very top here. It is the uh, sclerotia surrounded by all the red stuff. And it's done. Easy. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you. I was hoping for a pony, but I guess this'll do. Totally not Ethan. Now it gives us handgun ammo and shotgun ammo. And we can melt this Sclorosha over here for even more shotgun ammo. Now we're going to make our way upstairs, grab the shotgun, and do the boss fight. Once we come upstairs here, we're going to turn to the right. We're just going to hug the crate over here and get this guy to whiff his grab. They take a really long time before they can re-grab. Once they have whiffed their grab. Just commit to it. Don't be afraid. This should make things easier. Yeah, I can finally get rid of these powers. But I have to admit, I lived with them for so long. It's kind of weird to let them go. I know, I know. Gold mask on the bottom. Silver mask is the two divots on the right. And if you can't figure the last one out, I am sorry. reward. Almost looks like the real thing, doesn't it? What? <laughs> it's a replica, of course. Nothing that valuable could ever manifest on this stratum. <laughs> Did you really think I'd give away something so precious? I had to bait the trap with something. <laughs> <laughs> now comes the real fun. The perfect place for your demise. <laughs> Let the show begin! You're kidding! I have to fight him? Grab the shotgun shells over here, then ready a stun. We want to be able to shoot the core as quickly as possible once we have gotten the stun. Even uglier now. If you are slow, you can only get two shots in. One, two, three. And then ready a stun immediately. Two, 
three. You can see that I'm uh, just going ahead and reloading because actually like reloading and then firing, like letting the automatic reload happen is actually faster than firing the shotgun the normal way, funny enough. Just like it is in the main game. One, two, three. Every time you fire off a third shotgun shot into his core, then it procs a stun. And once that happens, it knocks him out of the hard stun animation that we inflicted by using our powers. Once we are at zero shells, then we actually do want to reload because it'll uh, actually kind of mess things up a bit. Uh, if we get grabbed over here, if we use a mold counter, then we actually negate all damage taken. Run, 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 run. So at this point, I accidentally used a, uh, a charge that I didn't want to use. So I just decided to finish this fight the old-fashioned way, without using any stun. Wow, look at you! So much feistier than those other little friends. You can save your pipe bombs if you want for Miranda, but I actually like to use the pipe bombs on these guys just to... Uh, save myself some time and be able to pick up the rest of this ammo because He's not dead. you know it's like if we only have to deal with one enemy instead of like juggling three it's going to be better for us overall we're only going to use the handgun for this phase we don't need to stun basically whenever he roars and whenever he does like a little temper tantrum basically you just uh you just sort of like you know kind of eek around a little bit just keep running until he starts attacking and then once he does that you can just turn and uh aim from around the corner like this when he roars we got to be careful because it's a stun roar and sometimes that'll stop us from moving but uh during that stun roar if we manage to do it correctly we can actually uh start shooting the core but just remember uh unless you are focus shotting literally all the time the bullets will literally travel to Nigeria, so just like, just like only do focus shots with the Lemmy. Most insipid fight I've ever seen! <laughs> While the Executioner is spawning back in, we can go ahead and take care of these face eaters from the other side of the bars. Because there is a there is a variable amount of time before the Duke may decide to lower the gates, and sometimes the Executioner may just be completely respawned here at this point. Don't let her get away with that! But basically if you don't kill these guys before the don't let her get away with that dialogue plays, then you don't have to use a pipe bomb. You can just save the pipe bomb. Otherwise, uh, just throw the pipe bomb for maximum safety. Once we've grabbed the shotgun and once we've grabbed the uh, capacity upgrade, that was a capacity upgrade for our stun powers, we just uh, put them in a loop here. You know, three... Uh, just uh, three, three shotgun shells after we stun him once. And once he goes into the ground like that, he's going to... Uh, Come out of the ground like this and slam down his uh, slam down his mace. Basically, he just spawns in under a last known position, and he'll like slam his mace. Uh, once the Duke says enough dilly dallying, uh, Executioner is going to ready his ultimate attack. So you have to be ready for this. I recommend having at least six shells because this is when you absolutely want to be stunning him. And if you're not stunning him, then use the sprigs of Sage in order to re refill them. Because otherwise he's going to do like multiple area attacks and it's just going to fuck you over. It may require one or two handgun shots to finish him off. Such a disappointment! <sighs> no matter. Your imminent demise is inevitable.
by now. Stratum. I don't want to leave. Not until I find that crystal. I'm tired of being a freak. I want to have friends. I want to live a normal life without this curse. If that purifying crystal can make that happen, make me normal, then I'm not going back until I find it. Yeah, so? All right then. What's this? I swear I've seen these monkeys before, but what the hell? What's wrong? Okay... Something seems different. Okay, this is weird. Why is there a picture of me? First up, we need a pair of scissors. We get our scissors by going into the projector room over here. Zero two four four six six. No other files in this room. the child relief we just picked up to open this door. The Catherine doll is over here.
the Lucy doll is over here. So you want me to play with dolls? And then we place the dolls like it says. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Fuck you. We'll use the red key on the Jimmy's room door. <laughs> then we melt off this sclerosha and... <laughs> climb down this uh, ladder. You know, it rubs the lotion on its skin. It does this whenever it's told. God, this is so creepy. No way. Now that we have three dolls, we're going to head back into the room where we got the Catherine, the Catherine doll. The room where we used the relief on the door. We'll place Lucy on the scaffold. We'll have Catherine just point and laugh. Kids are fucking mean. Uh, what the? Jimmy brings the firewood. Catherine lights the firewood. Lucy crucifies the victim, and Evelyn stands there watching. Seriously, fuck you. Oh, dead. So sad. Jeez, Rose, you're still looking for the crystal? Fine. I'll help you out. Just take the elevator to me. Mommy might be upset that I'm helping you, though. Who are you? You may consider saving your game here, because I could see this taking quite a few tries if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> These guys are the weeping angels from Doctor Who, obviously, but uh, you actually don't have to stop on the first one. You don't have to look at them in order to make them stop this time around. If you know exactly where you're going, you can just keep going perpetually, but while this is uh, crumpling here, you actually do have to look over there in order to make her stop. So we grab the fuse. She's going to bust in. We have to look away a little bit in order to get her to clear the door. Jesus Christ! Once we do that, we can just, uh, just keep running. We actually don't have to look back. go up the stairs and uh, go to the right. We don't have to look at this one either. We can just keep going. 
you may consider uh, looking back a couple of times just to get them out of the way, but it's this last one by the door that we got to watch out for. So we have to look away to make her move in one direction or the other, and once we have made her move in one direction or the other, we just look at all four of them to make them stop. I want this thing work! <laughs> you doing this? You're after the crystal, aren't you? Do you know where it is? <laughs> I've gathered some friends just for you. Entertain them, and maybe I'll tell. What is going on here? <laughs> Poor little Rose. I'm waiting for you in the back bedroom. the first one. Keep heading this way. The second one over here, we can just uh, hide behind here. We gotta wait for her to strafe over behind this box, and once we do that, we can just run around this desk. We don't gotta worry about being seen. Just trust me on this one. Go up the ramp, and then we'll crouch for this next one to come over this way, and then we wait for it to turn around, and then we run right across this plank of wood, and then we melt the sclerosha over here. While we're melting the sclerotia, please pay attention to the top right of the screen. Watch that doll. Just make sure she doesn't come back this way. Because you can just drop right down and you can just leave. No other dolls are going to see you. Just go, just go, just go. Oh, you're so stubborn. Well, there's still plenty of friends waiting. Next, we'll melt this one over here. Once we melt that one, it's going to lure those guys over. So we can just go straight through the door. There's going to be another little stealth section over here. drop here and we just got to pay attention to this one that we are closest to literally the only one once we go over here there's going to be two stacked up on top of each other and then they're going to strafe away and then we just want to run behind this one that one will actually not see us as long as we just take that opening right there and just go and once we melt this sclerotia they'll all get lured away and then we can move around here and then melt the sclerotia on top of the desk now that we are in range to do so. Just go, just leave, that's it. Once we head to the corner of the desk over here, a giant Mia doll is gonna bust in. We'll stand behind this chair. No way. Mia will turn to the left side of the screen and then one, two, Three go. If we try to move any sooner, then uh, proximity trigger will happen and Mia will see us. So now we'll grab the sprig of white sage and we'll use it immediately. We will melt. Well, use it to bomb these two. It's requisite. We can't get past them any other way. Not that it matters because it gives you a sprig of white sage pretty much anytime you need to use it in this section anyway. Once she turns over this way, we are going to just uh, make a break for it. Don't worry about it. She's not going to catch up to us fast enough in order to see us. I'm going to head to the kitchen, use the sprig of white sage here, and use it immediately on this one. 
And then once we uh, hit the corner of this uh, counter over here, then the Mia doll is going to bust in. And then one, two, three. And then once she moves past right there, we'll melt the Sclerosha and then head back out this way. And then she's going to turn that way. And once she clears, you got to be careful. You can't just like move too early on that... Uh, on that Lucy doll right there, because the Lucy doll, if you move too close, will actually detect you. If you, even though it looks like you're not even touching her. <gasps> By the way, this is really important. Before this cutscene, turn your frame rate down to 60 if you're playing on PC. Hey, she has those crazy powers, just like your dad. That's why she doesn't have any friends. Shut up! You know it's true. What is wrong with her? <laughs> She's afraid! Look at her! Oh. Afraid of what she might turn into! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> if you do not turn your frame rate to 60, then this Mia doll that is chasing us will move way too fast. It is a bug in the game's programming, and it will catch you faster than is reasonable. So turn your frame rate down to 60. Sometimes you can get lucky and uh, hit the door before the Mia doll will catch you. I'm actually gonna melt that off. Just keep running. more of this. Why are they talking about my dad? I never even met him. No, I don't know. I don't know the first thing about him. I wish I did. All I know is he died protecting me. Sometimes I try to imagine what my life would have been like if he hadn't died. But he've taught me to ride a bike, helped me with my homework, read me a story every night. But he've been there for me, proud of me. Sometimes when I feel lost or afraid, I try to imagine what he might have said to me. Feels familiar, like I've been here before. Look at all the decorations. Some kind of party. I'm so lucky to have you both in my life. What's that voice? Is that Dad? This must be my parents' house from when I was a baby. I bet other things also have my dad's memories. She just cannot get enough of this stuff. I bet dad would feed me as soon as I started crying. Rose is such a picky eater. All she ever wants is fruit puree. I guess I've always loved fruit. She bangs her spoon every time I play this. I wonder if she'll be a musician. I wonder if Dad played any instruments. She's so little. <laughs> Hard to believe one day she'll be old enough to share a bottle of wine with her old man. 
So Dad was a wine drinker. That's all the stuff you can collect downstairs. Upstairs? I'll take a look. This tune has always been special for our family. I think I've heard this before. It's pretty. This is my bedroom? She's already growing out of these onesies? I can't believe I was ever this tiny. <sighs> She's growing so fast. Getting bigger every day. This crib is so little. <sighs> There's one more thing in the spare bedroom over here. I, I know. She's probably a little too young for this, but it was too cute. I wonder how we played with this. I haven't seen Mom in ages. Lastly, we check the back of the rose picture and open the desk and also check Ethan's computer. I wonder if she'll look like me when she grows up. Oh, I looked so happy. A letter for me? Happy half birthday, Rose. My gift to you is a promise. I'll always be there for you, no matter what. I'll be there every birthday to watch you blow out the candles on your cake. I'll be there to make you breakfast and walk you to school every day. I'll be there when you have a bad dream and sing to you until you fall back asleep. I'll hug you tight when you're troubled or worried and tell you that everything's gonna be all right. You are my precious rose. Never forget that. Dad. No one loves you. No. No. Michael. Michael, help. Michael. No. Isn't here. <laughs> so, you don't have the purifying crystal? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> For that, you'll have to go deeper. Much deeper. Poor Rose. <gasps> She can't trust anyone. <laughs> Why are you doing this? No one loves you. And when you're dead, no one will care! <laughs> Enough games. Now you'll drown. I came first. First? Why does she only want you? What are you talking about? Look at you! You are beyond worthless! Seriously, what is your problem? You gotta wait for this wall to crumple. Don't run right. If you do, you die. We'll use the bunch of white sage and uh, 
these dolls that spawn over here, just, just be so careful. Real. Don't move too far forward, otherwise they so will charge you and they will hurt you. Never enough. Where do you think you're? Oh, look. Turn the camera immediately. Enough of this shit! Because the game forces the camera over to Evelyn, so you want to do a U-turn immediately. And then melt these off as quickly as possible before the Mia dolls can catch up to you. Once that melts away, just go to the elevator. Go, go, go. Shouldn't be a chance. <sighs> they were supposed to die and join me here! <laughs> Let's go! What? Evelyn, that little girl? Start by crouching behind this one. And then once she uh, bursts, go over to the words that say wait for an opening. Whenever she looks like she's having a migraine, and then she goes boom, 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 that is your opportunity to do something. So that's your opportunity to hit her, that's your opportunity to move, whichever you need to do. So next she's going to spawn right behind us. You want to sit over here. And then we want to go back around the table because she's going to spawn behind us again. Boom, boom, boom. Hit her again. She's going to spawn behind us. And we're going to go behind this cabinet over here. One boom. And then she's going to spawn behind us again. So we just move right around this cabinet again. Then migraine. It would have been boom, perfect. boom, boom. Uncrouch, hit her. And now we're going to move back around here because she's going to spawn on the top of the stairs. So what we got to do is we have to wait for her to boom, boom, boom again. Boom, boom, boom. Then melt a sclerotia and go back into hiding. If you're feeling ballsy, like I was here, you can melt both of them. But my recommendation is to go back here immediately because she will boom, boom, boom again very quickly. If your timing is off, you will get hit. Now we go up here and we wait. Thanks, Dad. Boom, boom, boom. Now we move into our final cover.
Michael? Are you there? Rose, look out! He... He saved me. But he didn't make it. That voice... My dad's voice... Is Michael... My dad? Don't give up, Rose. Find that crystal! Him. I can keep going. I have to find that crystal. I'm on my own, but I have to keep going. You and Bloodborne, baby. What is this place? Yeah, so don't be afraid to stun these guys. And just push around them. We can pick up ammo over here, but there really is no reason to save your uh, stuns over here. Just trust me on this one. Before we uh, head up the hill here, we're going to run to the left. Take the sprig of white sage and the handgun ammo. And then we'll head to the Sclerosha core. And then we're going to turn around and time for this. do a stun on that one and then melt off the Sclerosha. And then we are going to turn around and back pedal. We can use a stun just in case they decide they get too close. But once we see Rose start to back pedal, then we can just jump down this cliff. I need to find that crystal. And pick up these uh, last files and all the ammo and all the sage that we can pick up. Those copies of me came from. Someone's been here. Who? Oh, oh. They couldn't have been watching me the entire time. of white sage there. We just read all the files, pick everything up, and then save the game. the crystal. I'm almost there. Michael. One file on the ground and one more file on this pedestal over here and that's it for files. It's 
said shit. This one's the real deal. I, I can feel it. <laughs> Rose, I've waited so long for you. Who... Who are you? My name is Miranda. You had become so powerful. Far too powerful for me to subdue directly. So, I had to lure you into this realm so that you might willingly relinquish your powers. No, but Kay said... Did he? Or did I? That Kay was an illusion. Very convincing, wouldn't you say? No way. Now you can become the vessel for my Eva! I want to complicate things. I just needed you safe. And I'm sorry I left you alone. But I had to find a way out. And I did. It's just ahead. chance. Go live a normal life. Make friends. No one will ever call you a freak again. But... Rose, just go! I don't want to leave you! I know. I love you, but I need to know that you're safe. So please, just... Ethan, you insolent pest! I got this. Get out of here! Don't worry, Dad. I've got... 
got this. You think your powers would allow you to stand against me in the heart of my domain? Foolish. How intent you are on my throwing them away? On the f opening of the fight, we can use a dodge command immediately and then try to use the tentacle. I whiffed that the first time, but if you do it correctly by getting up close, then you stun her, and then you're able to use uh, three shotgun shells. And even if you were to survive, what would be the point? You After the first Mega My Seat rally, she'll start throwing fireballs, at which point you just time the press and uh, then you absorb it. Uh, please turn on the tutorial because it'll tell you exactly what buttons you need to press. If you do not turn on the tutorial, then you will not see what buttons to press because it'll introduce new mechanics. A lot of people thought that they got softlocked because they couldn't understand what to do here. How about this? Once you hear that little wind whip there, that's an opportunity to use a tentacle right there. So go ahead and use a uh, go ahead and use a sage sprig or a sage bunch. What is this? Sprigs restore two, bunches restore five. And if done correctly, then, you know, just manage it as much as possible. Whenever you see the uh, ball glow orange, that is your time to absorb. So be ready to time that out, especially when you have to absorb three balls as the fight goes on. It took so much to lose. Once this dialogue starts, but you're incredible. Well, we're going into the darkness phase, so get ready to dodge. One, two, and three coming up. Dodge. One dive. Two dives. Third, wait, dodge. Once she opens her claws all the way, that is when she is committed to the direction, and that is when you can swipe. If you try to dodge too early, she will hit you. It's always after three dives. Well, two dives, and then you have to dodge. So there's the whip. When you get the whip, that's when you use a bunch of white sage and counter with the tentacle before the fireballs come out. Just lay into her. That is why it must be. You are the only one who can bring her back to whatever it takes. So then she's going to do a dive here, and sometimes after she dives, the fireball will become active. So just like, don't start shooting immediately if you see a fireball. Pay attention to what the fireball does. Because I'm too far away, I decided to just use the handgun here, because I would inevitably have to anyway. Inevitably have to anyway. Every uh, Mega My Seat Rally costs uh, three charges from your meter, and every time you absorb fireballs, it adds two charges. Why? She's close enough, so I used a uh, Mega My Seat right there. And you generally have enough uh, time to be able to plant like three shotgun shells into her head. Because I was down to two, I decided to use a sprig in order to get myself back up to four. Before she dove there, I was able to hit her before she dove, because once she dives, she will go into bullet hell phase. And bullet hell phase is a little tough to dodge. So if you can recognize like the very start of bullet hell phase, you can do that. So whenever three fireballs come up and she is going to do a dive, dodge and then get ready to absorb the fireballs and then turn around because she may attack again. I got a little ballsy with that one. Really what I should have done was waited and evaded that instead. Impossible. So there's three more. You got a whip. Get ready for absorption. Absorption not necessary. Until now, one, two, three, get ready to dodge. She's doing it again. Okay, now she's gonna dive. No, no, no. Absorb, 
Absorb, absorb, get ready to dodge, dodge. And then she's going to come out from the ground if you can't see her anywhere. When she comes out from the ground there, that is your opportunity to counterattack immediately with a Mega My Seat. You can't use the Mega My Seat while she's already down. The Mega My Seat only serves to get her on the ground like this. The Mega My Seat does not do any additional damage as far as I'm aware. Once she says, I shall finish this, you have won the fight. Uh, you cannot dodge these balls. There is nothing you can do. As far as I am aware, it's just her like big Armageddon attack. And there's no openings for you to be able to avoid it. Over here! Dad! Use this! Take her down! So sorry, I couldn't protect you. All you've ever done is protect me. No. Not this time. You lost your chance. I'm so sorry. No. It was my choice. And I don't regret it one bit. If I left you, then we never would have had this chance to talk face to face. I'm back. I think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? Nobody can touch the moon, it's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? 
Okay, then you can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon feels like it. You think it does, <laughs> but it's... Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. Talk of the goddamn devil. Duty calls. I love you. Yeah, I found her. Where else? The day of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed, <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa, whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. <sighs> we have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. Way to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know. I know. So this was Shadows of Rose, no damage, no crafting on hardcore difficulty. I'm pretty sure I got everything. I will try to include timestamps in the description if I can. If there's anything that I'm missing, once again, please be sure to let me know in the comments and I will uh, try to append that to the uh, description I'm going to be working on a no save no damage of this later like I mentioned before at the start so keep your eyes peeled for that otherwise that's pretty much it uh, if you liked what you saw please be sure to like comment and subscribe also check out the other videos in the uh, Resident Evil Village playlist I have no damage runs of other Resident Evil titles and other games as well, if that piques your interest. Trying to branch out, do other games besides survival horror and Resident Evil any which way I can. Resident Evil is the main draw, so, you know, I'm going to be continuing to do that. But otherwise, please check it out. Also check out my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash carcinogensda. That is where I record all of these videos while I am live over there. If you would wish to support my bad challenge run habit, you may do so on my Patreon at patreon.com slash carcinogensda. 
I have running incentives over there for uh, kill all no damage runs and eventually game selection once I have properly worked out the system. That's it then. Thank you all for watching and see you all next video. Final time, 150.26. Remember that skipping cutscenes will allow you to clear the scenario in under one and a half hours. Thank you for watching.